Welcome back to another NBA video and there's some breaking news as the offseason gets underway. It seemed like throughout the NBA Finals, there was almost just as much discussion about who would be the next coach for the Los Angeles Lakers as there was about the Celtics Mavericks, who's going to win the series. And now they have came to a four-year deal to hire J.J. Redick as the franchise next head coach. J.J. Redick, a former player, he had the podcast that is still ongoing with LeBron. We'll see if that continues as they're going to be a player-coach combo right now, but they are hiring him to get his first coaching experience, and it's going to be coming as the head coach of one of the most historic and popular franchises in all of sports, and he's going to be taking care of LeBron, AD, and that core around them. So there's going to be championship bust expectations right away, and some people think that's why the Lakers' job might not be appealing to some, because they're going to have those expectations when they have LeBron James and Anthony Davis on that team. But when you have as many, I mean, good teams in the Western Conference and the Celtics in the East, can you really expect them to be contenders? If you look at Vegas odds for next year, they have the 14th best odds to win the title. So that's right in the middle of a pack. That's when you're getting into that unrealistic territory and long shot territory. I mean, LeBron's going to be 40, but it seems like according to Woj that Rob Palenka became sold on JJ Reddick's ability to connect with the players and his basketball IQ and believe surrounding him with an elite coaching staff will help to shorten the learning curve into his first coaching job. Now, there's a couple questions with getting J.J. Redick. That could be similar to Danny Hurley, but at least Hurley has been a head coach before. Now, one of the questions, as I mentioned, he has a great relationship with LeBron James. They currently have a podcast ongoing together. It's unclear if that's going to remain the case in season because that would be an interesting dynamic to have. But people are going to wonder, will he be able to hold LeBron accountable the same way as he might for the younger players on this roster because holding LeBron accountable is something that LeBron wants. He wants to be coached hard, but J.J. Redick getting his first head coaching experience on this team, is he going to be able to go and hold LeBron James as accountable for his mistakes as he will for everyone else on this roster? So there's definitely some questions, but when it comes to J.J. Redick's basketball IQ with his podcast and analysis with ABC and ESPN working as a color commentator, it's clear his basketball IQ is very high. It also seems like he's perfect for the modern game as he's very analytically driven as well. He knows with all the shooting three-pointers, all the benefits of the analytics these days to take full advantage of them. So it'll be interesting to see who joins him as his assistant coaches, but JJ Redick is now coaching LeBron and the Lakers.